I've landed on some random unknown planet, and the only thing I have is my wits and gathering abilities. So it's only fitting I try and take over the world with a giant robot army. That just makes sense. I can make a workbench, it just needs two logs and two sticks. Luckily, I've just been gathering sticks casually, and I see some fallen logs right over here. This thing is just extremely heavy, that's fine. Hop, hop my way to victory. Craft it, go, yes. <laughs> Just stomp on it until it works. That's usually my go-to in life. With this, I can start crafting some rudimentary tools. What is a world conqueror without their evil axe? All right, get to chop and screw these trees. They've probably wronged me in some way. It's the only logical solution. Or maybe I just need anger management. One of them. For some reason, the way inventory stuff works in this game is you must just be some crazy martial arts zen master because you can just stack anything. I want to crash into this tower so bad. I've got my workbench. Of course, I need to get my bot making bench. It's just also takes a couple of logs. Go ahead. No, they're heavy. Yep. Die, log. Die. Die for my progress. Success. One of them. You too. Honestly, screw it. Just keep... Yeah, kill every log in here. Is it weird that I'm trying to kill an inanimate object? No, it makes sense. To me, at least. Look at how neatly I'm carrying these planks, too. I've really grown as a person who's just lost in this world. And just stomp it. Stomp it to death. Yes. One bot-making bench achieved. I just need a lot of things. Okay. Three planks. One tree seed. And now I think to make poles, I just beat the crap out of a plank. And sure enough, Pull. Go on in. Oh, no, I need a log. I always need a log for something. Get it. Yes. Stomp. Mush. Crush. Perfect. Oh, hello, my little bot buddy. Oh, how strong am I to just lift him up? I didn't mean to do this, but I'll take it. The way these guys work is you give them a custom program by pretty much saying, watch me do it first. That's what you're going to do, friend. You're going to find a tree. You're going to beat the crap out of it until it's just fallen. And you're just going to do that forever. Although, let's move your target to be a little bit more tree centralized. Thank you. All right, go get him, slugger. No, wait. You need an axe. Here, take that one. There. There you go. He's just gonna automatically chop logs down for me. I couldn't ask for a better son. Until then, I should just start making more bot stuff. Although I, he has my only axe, gosh dang it. Come here, stone. You're going in. Mush it all together. Give me that. Thank you. You make the logs, I'll murder them. Together we can go far. Far enough to where I can just make another little robot friend. Just give me one second, Mark II robot. I've got to beat some stuff up first. I'll be right with you. Patience is a virtue after all. Oh no, this guy's axe broke too. That was way too fast. Well, I guess it was pre-used. All right, here you go. Take it. Get back to work. Set you there for now, because I'm immediately making Mr. Robot number three. The entire point of what I'm trying to do right now is build my own personal civilization to take over the planet, and to do that, I will be needing a lot of resources. The only downside is there's limited resources in my little square. However, I do think I can fix that. Considering these robots just follow what I tell them to do, as they should, I can be like a fun little military drill sergeant, but against people who can't argue back. And after playing around with the bots for a while, I know exactly what I need to do. Just need to dig up these little Minecraft blocks. You know what? This is taking a while. Mark two. Listen to me. You're gonna dig up some turf, buddy. You got it? This is it. Although you only need to do it in this 3x3 grid. Go get him. Why isn't he doing it? Oh, I forgot to hit play. I hate how simple that was, but look at him go. While he works hard making my next little world conquering sequence, I need to make a nice little pickaxe. Beat it. Beat it to death. Yes, give me it. Thank you. I'll just be here bashing my head up against some rocks for a second. Go ahead. Keep breaking. And I'm already bored. All right, Mark three. Listen, buddy. You're going to bash rock. You got it? Yep. Repeat that forever. Ah, uh, automation. Oh, you're done already? This is the great thing about automating robots to just do your job. It's done before you even realize. As for this guy, you're now going to make one right there as well. Oh, my logger is also done over here. I am falling behind on all my resource things I'm trying to do. Although that does give me an idea, actually. Hey, Mr. Bot. Congrats. You're fired. You're just going to try and find the nearest stick in the area and then set it right there. The nearest tree seeds in the area. Set it right there. Then the nearest logs. Set it down. Oh, wait, no, he's too stupid to actually do this. All right, well, I guess just repeat all this forever. Is he working properly? Yes, actually, look at him carry that little seed. Good job, buddy. The automation is happening faster than I actually expected. Give me all these little pieces of turf, because I need you to start working on that one. The bot's working 12 by 12 grids, so if you wanted to fully automate something, you just gotta make a fun little square. Now, I'm going to beat the crap out of a stick and thank you. God, taking care of these bots is such a just insane task. This guy's already broken his pickaxe, but look at all the stuff. Stones he's gotten. Oh my gosh. There you go, buddy. Keep it going. I'll go just get another stick from over here. It's weird with berry bushes. You don't use a shovel. You just beat the crap out of them with a stick. Die, you stupid berries. How do I dig this up? Maybe now this is where the shovel comes into play. Perfection. This is taking so long. Oh my gosh. Why? Die. Can I eat this now? No, it's just sitting here. I don't know. Go throw it over there, I guess. You know, I need to make one more robot. Hey, the crows are eating my berries along with a bluebird and another crow. I mean, that's fine. I have no purpose for them. If nature wants to partake in what I've 
given them, so be it. After all, they've given me their planet. Bot number four. Welcome in, buddy. Oh no, it's raining. My robots, do they rust? Do I have some kind of special metal alloy? Maybe I should have figured those questions out a long time ago before I tried to invade a planet that actually has rain. You know what? It'll be fine. What's the worst that happens? They short circuit die? I'm alone on this planet forever? No one to love? No one to hold? Maybe it's a bad thing all my friends are robots. Oh well, they're programmed to love me. Can I dig up these flowers also? As pretty as they are, they're bothering me. Bye bye, Mr. Flower. Look at that acorn tower. These robots are weird. One more little piece of turf though, and my guy's done. Good work, Mr. Digbot. All right, I don't know how many of you need, but come over here. I should probably be able to make an automatic tree farm now. This way I have infinite logs and I can rename the bots anything. Of course, I have to name them after my channel memberships. Listen up, buddy. Your job is to dig a hole in this little seven by seven area. Go get them. And you, my friend, your job is to go grab a seed and then plant the seed. And you can repeat that forever. Oh, hey, my first forestry's done. Making progress for world domination. Lumberjack hat, fun. And then your job, Mr. Chop One, is simple. You're chopping any tree in this area. He's just not moving anywhere. Hey, Mr. Robot, I'm trying to have an uprising right now? What are you doing? You're making me look bad. I think now I have a very, very basic automated tree farm. We'll call you guys Auto Forest One. So these guys are good. They should just all start filling this up. The only thing is when their tools break, I uh, kind of need to make them their own personal ones, which I mean, is fine, I guess. I love them like I would, you know, a cat, but it's not the automation that I'm looking for. Oh, stack up the pallets and then I can stack crates to hold stuff. I'm getting an idea. Chopping block. What does this do? I don't know, but I need a log and a crude axe for it. Should probably be simple enough, right? I'm smart enough to figure out a basic coding game. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Stomp them. Get them. Beat their teeth in. Yes. Oh, this can automatically make planks and poles. That means I could code a robot to grab a log and then bring it over here to just beat it up and then output some planks. Oh, I get it now. I see it. In that case, I've moved my operation down here. Are all these growing everything? Well, I think that's the last little hole I need. Then let me full stop my digging team. I will be taking this time to expand what I can see for a second and tidying everything up. Cleanliness is next to godliness and that's what I want to be. Although it's probably not a bad idea if I just made a crate. Four planks and four poles. Well, here's two planks for you. I'll just break these down. There's the other two. And beat the crap out of these planks. Die, die, die. Everything in together and start stomping. <laughs> Storage crate done. I think now I can just take a stick and throw it in it. How much is that? 25. Wow. Maybe I should do that for my rocks too rather than making a giant stone pile. I don't know. That's kind of fun. Fine. I'll make one. Definitely not just because I enjoy chopping the crap out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> die, 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 die. I'm like an angry but cuter Bob the Builder, if that even exists somehow. <laughs> I just love jumping on stuff. I think it's time for us to move on to Operation Make My Life Really, Really Easy. Pretty much what I've been trying to do this whole time. So I've just recoded all four of my bots. Now they all should go to work. I made it where my chopper goes back to chopping blocks in this nice little area, and if he's got nothing to do, he'll stop in the middle. My cedar runs this entire area looking for seeds, and he'll pick them up until his hands are full, and then when they're full, he'll run to the nearest hole that's empty and throw a seed inside of that. Spencer is my nice little digging man. And then Aiden is just my getting bot. He'll just go gather sticks and throw them in the chest for me. So now I think this tree farm should just run itself pretty efficiently. Means it's time for me to make some more bots. Don't worry team, this is for the good of mankind. Hence why I'm breaking logs and you guys are doing all the manual labor. Get on out here, Mr. Bot number five. And then of course, bot number six. You're coming out too. I could still make all of this much better. Just need a few more bots. I think what I need to do now is just make a bunch of these little workbenches because I should be able to make an Autobot replenishing system. I guess should really being the key phrase there. Be my axe, you be my shovel, you be my pickaxe. Oh, my planning is just done? Who was mining something? I don't know, but I got a backpack upgrade. Thank you game for the sweet little upgrade piece. I do like the sound of being able to hold more things. Just makes all this crafting even easier because when I complete one storage chest just like this and I can grab my crude little shovel and throw it in. Do you see where I'm going with this? Throw this axe on into there. And I'm done with my planting tools also. Wooden mallet. Bash trees to get seeds, sticks, and fruit. Huh. Thank you for my little slab. I didn't realize I was upgrading at such a rapid rate. There you go. All three tools are set. Because I am the world's greediest individual though, I'm not done. I still need to bash my head into some more logs. Finish up this little guy please. And thank you. I'll throw the little tree seeds in there. Because it can hold 25 of them. Wow. Because I 
should be able to set this up even better now. First things first, I will be needing another dig bot. Now I think a system like this should make it where he'll go, grab a little shovel out of the chest, find the nearest tree stump, and start digging. So now, if I'm not mistaken, all of these guys should be working in tandem with two people digging up stumps, one person getting seeds from the chest, the other bringing seeds to it, meaning it's time to just test it out. And so far you can see on the right, no problems. Let's just hope it stays that way. Also, I just stacked a giant pile of logs like I'm a dragon hoarding his gold, just because I'm trying to increase my storage over here. So I'll just let these guys run for a second whilst I get everything else all neat and tidy, just like that. Probably also time for me to make a plank pallet just so I don't end up wasting any resources. Throw those two nice little planks on, chop this one down, throw some poles on in and stomp, 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 stomp. Yes. And Mark 7 bot, actually follow my lead real quick. You're going to run over here, grab a log. You will then deposit that log in here. All right, go get a slugger. And then you, my lovely robotic friend, you're going to take a log, set it onto the auto choppy block, pick up both, and then throw it into the storage. All right, Mr. Mark 5, you will be taking a log until your hands are full. You'll be adding that log to the chopping block, picking it up till your hands are full, and then you'll be dumping it in until your hands are empty. I think that should work. Let's see if he manages to pick up both of those planks. Yes. Now just throw them on in, buddy. Oh, I see. His hands aren't full yet, so he can't run it. What if I just drop it down like that? I'm not afraid to say this is not a perfect system quite yet, but he is working hard and I will not give up on him. I think making that drop down happen though works out perfectly. All right, just repeat it forever, man. The life of a robot is void of pleasure, but it's efficient. So, all right, buddy, are you capable of following every lead I need? Grab stone, throw stone on station. Grab stick, throw stick on station. Grab the ax, put ax in box. I think that's one too many steps for him. Well, let's just have you do that forever and make them because in that case, I can just smash together another robot. Listen here, you're gonna pick up an ax until your hand's full and you're gonna dump it into the storage. You're doing that until your hand is empty. Repeat forever. I'm just going to have a bunch of bots doing the world's most basic tasks until I'm well king of the world. Oh, my basic bot team's done. Crude gear was created and my little trinket system thing is done. The system is all well and good and all. However, I am out of sticks, but that's really just easy enough. I just need to program one bot to go pick up all those sticks and then toss them in. Just repeat that forever. My process for world domination continues. This is really just all the boring bot making coding stuff. It'll be worth it here soon enough because now this little guy, well, he should start resource mining rocks for me and good old Josh should start picking them all up. I really don't know what to do about all the pickaxes being continuously made and stuff, but for right now, I think my only option is just add more bots. Oh wait, I can just make him keep crafting until something else is full. Here you go, buddy. You keep making axes until the axe storage is full and you keep making spades until the spade storage is full. I should pretty much never have to worry about those guys ever again now. That little bot, repeat after me. Walk over to the pickaxes, put pickaxes in machine. You repeat this until it's full also. Go crazy. I think I've officially gotten the automated system set up and working. One of the last few things I can even do on my quest for world domination would be to just stamp everything together again to make a nice little spot for poles to go. I'm not entirely sure what all else I would need to do here, but I feel like if I just let these bots run for a little bit, I'll have my answer soon enough. 